Hi everyone, so it is Thursday morning. It is my last day at the school and I'm running a little bit late because I have to go pick up a cake that I had made a couple days ago at a bakery for them. I'm hoping they like it. Necesito estar frío o no? Mejor frío. Ok, vale. Por aquí. I just got back and saying goodbye to the kids is a lot harder than I thought. I mean, whew, just need to suck the emotions back. But um, I don't know if I've ever said this in a video, but I had actually requested when I entered the program to be with high school, which I know would have been very difficult in a whole different slew of ways, but I'm not really into kids at all. And so when I did initially get, you know, 10 months ago, the email saying I was going to be with 3 to 12 year olds, I'll admit I was not very happy. I know nothing about kids, but they did grow on me slowly but surely and saying goodbye to them was really hard. They made me some gifts. This is from second grade. They put a little bow on it. I'll open it up and show you. But it just says in Spanish, you're the best professor. Please don't forget us. And then it's all signed by all the children. And then on the back, they did a little Spain and United States very happy together because at one point one of the kids did tell me that since I was from the United States we'd have to kill me <laughs> and then I absolutely love this this is from first grade they made me a little book and then they each had a little page in it the first page um, it's signed but you can see in the top right corner her name's Yoli and it says love is in the air um, Katie happy I love you Katie and as you saw they also brought a cake so that was really funny we all there were only about six of us so it was a lot of cake for six people to be eating. I wish I could just crash after all of that cake and so many emotions, but right now I'm going to head out. I have a private class with a woman. They have the most adorable dog named Bond after James Bond. Also goodbye to her today but I think I'm gonna go shopping now my favorite store here is definitely pole and bear we don't have it in the States let me know if you have it where you are but I'm a fan and it's also very cheap which is nice so I think I might treat myself to maybe something there sat down and I did not notice until I looked in the mirror that I have right there. I walked not only down the busiest main street with all the stores and it's and it's, it was about 7 p.m. when I walked through there so really busy time to go out and be getting your groceries. I walked to the grocery store like this with this dress. I don't know if you can tell it has buttons down to the waist not just the top one open, just completely, completely open. Luckily, in this instance, I'm fairly flat chested, so it's not as if anyone was seeing anything particularly interesting, but I stood, I don't know how I didn't feel a breeze there that I don't normally feel, but ah. obviously since I don't have larger breasts, it's not as if they like popped all the way open. I I think after I changed in the changing room, I just zipped up the side and just forgot to button it. But it sounds like the family just got back, so I think I'll actually go ahead and show you Tutu. That's the name. It is a boy named Tutu, yes, but it is the puppy that they got about 
what was I? No, I have no concept of time. Maybe two, three months ago. I showed him on Instagram, but I don't think I've ever shown him in a video. So, so I'll go ahead and show you him now, and then I'll probably head off because it's about 8.30 now, so I'm probably going to cook dinner and just pass out. It's been a very long, emotional day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Perfecto en la cámara, pero después no. <laughs>